I made my first game ever and released it on New Year's, so today I wanted to talk about how I spent 4 months making it. If you follow this channel, you'll know that I worked and released a game called Run Diggy Run by myself, and today I want to go into the behind the scenes on how I came to wanting to start working on this, coming to make this, and all of that kind of as a point of reference for anyone who is thinking of or has had experience but never tempted to do any real projects because of whatever reasons you have. In summer, I was doing a lot of stuff and it was real fun making content and doing new things and going places. But at the end, I felt kind of burnt out. I wasn't really into my roots and everything was just kind of bland. So that's why I took the time to be pragmatic. I always had the idea of making my dream game and knowing what I want to do and doing it later when I'm at this point. But I soon started to realize that it's unrealistic. When I made this channel, it was supposed to be about game related content like game reviews, analysis, video essays, and maybe occasionally unrelated, more personal content like a sword and poker video. And game development is related to my channel and the fact was I wasn't doing it and I wouldn't get any traction to my works if I started making them later rather than now. Initially, I wanted to do a more quiet type of public development style, just post update videos but no actual work videos, but now this channel is going in the direction of game review content and game development videos such as devlogs. So that was one thing that's changed for the future of this channel surrounding this project. Anyways, this is all just kind of a precursor to the project, so let's actually get into what the project is. The game is called Run Diggy Run, and it's kind of a mix of Cave Story and Spelunky in terms of gameplay and inspiration. The idea was actually more inspired by Spelunky before I knew what Cave Story was. And after doing my research, I decided to use the Godot game engine and C Sharp for scripting. And the reason I chose Godot is because it seems to have a good workflow and I could gain experience for other things like Unity because I was doing C Sharp scripting, uh, which I had wanted to use in the future, but now I'm kind of unsure about. Either way, doing this in C Sharp has helped, although I will talk about an issue with this in another video. Although I didn't exclusively use C Sharp, I also used GDScript, uh, only because I thought I couldn't do some stuff in C Sharp due to syntax and stuff. I also use VS Code, and I think it's really good for Godot because it's available on all desktop platforms and allows C Sharp and GDScript coding in the same editor. I mentioned this in my public announcement of Run Diggy Run, but I was coming from experience, and I think that the majority of people who want to get into this whole thing come with no coding experience. I used to make scratch games for fun, and my friends, and that gave me a lot of experience on what real programming looks like. I learned what I think are the programming basics, like booleans and variables, ifs and elses, and that can honestly let you transition to any language and do a lot. And it's not that hard to learn, so if you are looking for a place to start, I'd recommend starting there. This is my first title screen I made, and my workflow for creating game projects. I prefer to make the title screen first, and then the gameplay. Really doesn't matter which way you prefer to do it, but I felt like I should mention it. And anyways, it wasn't very good, and it even had a RAM leak. And basically, I had bad programming, and it wasn't very uniform. So I tried again with build 2 and this looked better, but I could still improve it. And this is using a font that I made myself because I wanted to do that, but it still didn't look too good. This is actually the first gameplay build. It was to kind of show what the game would look like, but it was not exactly on the right track. But in build 4, I got the template just right into what more closely resembles the latest release build minus the background. And over this whole process, I had a lot of playtesters and people to give me feedback so that I could improve all this stuff, which I think is really important uh, if you're doing, you know, independent development. Just show your game to your friends and see what they have to say because not only will it boost your morale, you know, that there's actually people who care and who will give you feedback, but it will actually improve your product. Let's talk about gameplay though. 
The game is intentionally hard and focuses around this idea of risk and reward. That's portrayed in the lunge mechanic where you can gain speed and distance, but that speed is retained until you land on the ground, so be careful to not incorrectly use it. There's also this cool synergy where you can aim the shotgun and shoot down while lunging to keep your lunge state, and it's stuff like this which helps tie the gameplay experience together. Speaking of the shotgun, it was going to be like Spelunky in the sense where you would get knocked back if you shot left or right, except with shooting down, it was inspired by the machine gun from Cave Story. But the idea was that you could also start immediately falling by shooting up as well, but that was scrapped as it was too buggy because uh, I was bad at programming. And there was also some scrapping related to items. The shotgun was supposed to look different and act more traditional with bullets, but it ended up looking more like it was shooting smoke. And that idea was kind of inspired by when you die in Cave Story, you just shoot these like smoke particles. And there were also supposed to be these boots that increased your movement speed. But I also ended up scrapping that due to the fact that I would have to make a whole new sprite sheet for a player. And also the jetpack was supposed to increase your X and Y movement velocity, but that was scrapped because I couldn't program it. I also had to think pragmatically in general, either figure out how to make an idea that's not worth the time spent for like two weeks, or just cut and figure out some alternatives that's better to make. And I think that was fine. It was even shown in my code for this project. It wasn't optimized, and I was trying to make something rather than trying to make it perfect. And I think that's important. Doing a project is a great way to learn something and going about it by being realistic about certain details instead of trying to be a perfectionist is the best way to learn. Then after you're done learning the general basics and process of things, yada yada, then you can be a perfectionist. When it comes to the level design, the first area, the cricket, it was inspired by the beta cave story, cave story as they have a blue tint and the second area growth wasn't really inspired by anything but it kind of looks like the thicket from the cave story beta and there was a lot of inspiration from you know the cave story beta and i think that looked nice i don't think the castle had any inspiration uh, other than be kind of final level themed since uh, usually uh some video games have castles as like their final level is and then the music i made the music in org maker and I think I will make a video about this sometime on my music channel. But basically, it's the same program used for Cave Story's music, uh, made by the creator of Cave Story for Cave Story. And it honestly creates some really unique music under some really unique limitations. And I can't really explain how I made the music and art unless I go into it on a separate video. And it's more just the skills that you learn from practice. I will say I did try to learn the music style of Cave Story and that was a big inspiration for all the music in this game, especially since I was making it for his tool and I was trying to kind of write it faithfully. And that's really it. I did this game to gain experience for my next project and my next projects are not going to exactly reflect this. Uh, to be honest, all I can say is if you want to get into this stuff, use or want to do something and research and work. You will never get anywhere by just putting it off. And if you have nothing and nothing is stopping you, starting early will really help you. I know that probably you heard the same thing somewhere, but this is proof that I actually did something and got somewhere.